Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be looking at Town Hall 11 yet again, this time with the Dragon Attack Strategy. We're going to be looking at, I think, four replays this time. We have a couple of different Dragon Strategies, and we're just going to look at them and sort of talk about the thought process that goes into these attacks. So, King and Queen on the opposite sides uh, for the funnel, and down the middle are going to be the Dragons. So they're going to go straight after the air defense and the eagle, tur eagle artillery pretty quickly. And sort of with the queen, is taking out the first layer of defenses really, really um, effectively. And that's going to allow the uh, any loons or a stone slammer to directly target the inferno tower and the air defense pretty easily. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how he's going to do it yet. But he uses the Stone Slammer on the left side, actually. Instead of taking advantage of the... Um, advantage of the exposed Inferno Tower. And that's probably because... He just didn't have the funnel on the left side for the dragons. And he's just going to try and funnel the dragons toward the Inferno Tower instead of using um, the Stone Slammer to take it out. So, that's all moving in. They are placed all on top of the Inferno Tower, and that helps them sort of swarm up on it without needing a uh, freeze spell because they had a rage spell. Definitely need to freeze the Wither Towers though. They could do a ton of damage and one-shot a whole group of bats. But left up here is like eight dragons or something. It's a lot of dragons left. You only started with ten or eleven or so. So really taking advantage of the base and how it's shaped. That's that's a really important point of most spammy strategies. You just have to take advantage of how the base is laid out and sort of, if it's not laid out in an obviously um, spam, obviously spammy strategy inducing sort of way, then making the base shaped that way with your attacks is how you become successful with that. So yet again with the queen and the king on the outside, but this time it's going to be slightly different. So since the queen and the king weren't dropped like directly on like the left and the right side of the base, it said it's going to do something a little bit different from Kiki and just spamming every dragon on the same defense. So that makes it a little bit more interesting. And you don't need a rage spell for the very beginning because having all the loons or all the dragons on the same um, on the same defense doesn't really help. But when they're spread out a little bit like they were here like 20 seconds ago, then it's useful for you to have to have the uh, rage spell. Then bats come in from the left side and just swarm the rest of the base with the help of some free spells and eventually taking care of the air defenses and then the dragons only have a couple of defenses left to attack and he also has the stone slammer which is going to play MVP in this one and he's going to take out the archer towers which are really a problem for dragons actually and it's sort of sometimes underestimated how powerful archer towers are so, dragons and stuff. There's not a lot of cleanup on this attack, so... One important point with dragon attacks is dragons are extremely slow. Especially on the back end of an attack in cleanup mode. So, you want to bring, like, minions, uh, lots of minions sometimes. Depending on how... Depending on how your base is, uh, sort of set up. Like, in the first attack, you didn't really need a lot of cleanup. Because you were taking out the entire base at the same time. But here, he's just taking out the middle with the dragons and then um, sort of creating a, an L-shaped path for the bats, which is kind of interesting. That's usually how the like hogs or goons are deployed in an L-shaped fashion. But this time the bats work, which means that he, just like having hogs or loons, he needed to clean up on the outside of the base, um, working together with the bats. 
but this is a really, really fast strategy. So sometimes you're able to just overpower the base and not have time issues. So that's that one. And Dragbat is basically the most powerful form of dragons at Town Hall 11. At higher Town Hall levels, like Town Hall 13, there are a lot of different ways to use dragons in a different way than with bats, especially given the fact that there's extra two really powerful splash defenses that you can just place like not near any Inferno Towers and then Drag Bat is basically impossible to do because of how many splash damage buildings there are now. But at Tunnel 11, that's not the case. So you can just take out... Well, the main defenses, the main splash defenses are the Wizard Tower and the Inferno Towers. And you can just freeze them or take them out with the dragons before deploying any uh, bat spells in that area. So it's not as much of an issue. Warden ability really early to take advantage of how many dragons are near there. So protecting basically every dragon with that. So at the back end here, we're gonna have just Inferno Tower and two Wizard Towers. So even though he doesn't have any free spells here, he's just gonna deal with that by just having the loons and the dragons just sort of clump up together. And they're gonna work together and eventually take out the rest of the base. So with the dragon distracting both the wizard towers and having a heal spell with the loons, it's gonna be able to take out the back end of the space. So sort of like impressive planning there is to notice that instead of having free spells, Maybe it's worth it to just bring loons and a freeze and heal spell. These loons from these loons were from the CC, so they're a lot more powerful than Town Hall 11 loons, and that makes the back end loon idea a lot more powerful. So that's a good attack from Grumpy Old Dom, and that's eventually going to lead to the uh, cleanup being done. So it's a theme there that cleanup is really important. Or it's not important, but it is really slow. So keep that in mind. So there we go. And one more dragon attack. Again, a bat attack. So yeah, it's time by Kiki. And this base isn't super interesting for this strategy, but Queen's going to take out a little bit, and King's going to take out the left side, or Queen's going to take out the right side, Queen on the left, and I guess just Dragon's down the middle. <sighs> Queen's taking out the first layer of defenses, which is really powerful, and King is sort of exposing the air defense, so if he chooses, you could drop the Stone Slammer there, or Dragons there in a free spell. Or just start the Bats over there as well. So a little bit late on the... on the Dragons, actually. But that's fine on these attacks. Especially if you have cleanup back end minions and archers like he has. So he started with the Stone Slammer on the left side. To deal with the Inferno Tower. Dragons and the Warden go through the base. Warden ability super raro, super powerful because you're cleaning or you're saving all of the dragons. In just one fell swoop. Supers are a little bit annoying, but Bat Bomb at the top of the screen, along with a free spell, yeah, are going to be able to take out that portion of the base really quickly. Bats under Rage are able to take out the Wizard Tower, even though there weren't too many of them in that area. But really overwhelm the base. Just by taking out a few defenses with the bats. But when you're able to add troop space, like actual troops using spell space, that can make attacks really powerful. And that was the problem with the bat spell initially. That it just added so many troops that 
and it's really hard to uh, it's really hard to defend. Basically impossible. But now it's balanced really well. So dragons are spread out quite well this time. But the cleanup still is really slow. Left with an arch tower and a Tesla. And it's dealing with these dragons actually pretty well. But it's just too much. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.